What's going on guys? Today we're going to find out what kind of characteristics the 2018 Jeep Wrangler will have if the battery goes dead in the remote. Welcome back. My name is Brandon Hainline, your Jeep informant. And if this is your first time here and you want to be smarter about your Jeep, then you've come to the right place. Make sure you click that subscribe button with the bell and uh, let's get started. So today we've got the 2018 Jeep Wrangler and we're gonna find out what's actually gonna happen. Will the vehicle start? Will it unlock? What kind of characteristics will this thing uh, do? And I'm even gonna show you how to replace the battery, okay? So uh, let's head it out to the Jeep. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice when the battery starts to get weak in the remote is that when you lock and unlock it, you're gonna have to be getting closer and closer to the Jeep, okay? And uh, you may not notice anything in the instrument cluster. It's just like the range is not quite far enough. So if we wanted to replace that battery, we're going to find that little hole right there in the remote. Okay, there's a little, we're going to take a little flathead screwdriver, pop in there. I'm going to give it a little twist. Okay, now uh, you want to you want to work your way around this side right here. Okay, because the other side actually has a hook on it. So you can't pry that side up. So you wanna you wanna lightly pry this side up, and then uh, it's just gonna kind of pop right off. And there's a little hook side. There's a hook right here, and it just runs along the edge. So it's gonna kind of snap in that way. So. As you can see here, me trying to get it back on, you gotta just get it just right, and then it'll snap back on. So let's get this battery out and see how good it is and actually what uh, size battery it is that you would need for the replacement. All right, so as you can see here, this, this regular flathead screwdriver is a little too big to, to get in there and get that out. So we gotta get something small in there and just boom, oh geez, it just popped out. All right, I found it. So. All right, the replacement battery you're gonna need is a CR2450. CR2450, that's the replacement. It's uh, a little bit different than the regular key batteries that we see in other vehicles. So let's check the voltage on this battery, 3.036. Now that's a little on the low side, actually. A brand new battery is actually gonna range about 3.3 volts. And the lowest you really should see it is right at 2.9. That's pretty much dead. 2.9 is, is, is done. So let's check and see what happens when the battery's out. And we got nothing so far. And no response in the cluster at all. Nothing. No locks, no unlocks. Panic. So no it's just a dead key fob. All right, those of you that have been subscribed for long enough know that I'm not just gonna stop here. I gotta find out what the Jeep does when the battery's dead in the remote. I wanna know what happens to it and, and, and just what can we do if it does happen. So the battery's removed from the remote, as you can see right there. And let's try to get this thing started and see what happens. Foot's on the brake and I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right there it says push button with key fob. All right, so this is completely dead. So if your battery's dead in your remote, then you're not getting started. So here is a little trick right here. Now you're gonna use the actual, you know, the fob itself to press the button itself. Press the button with the fob with the brake pedal and boom, she starts up even again. with a dead battery, as you can see there. So I'm gonna try it again. The battery is out of it. Press the brake and push the button with the remote and it works. Now if you used your finger, it would not work. Only if you used a remote, okay? So there's some technology in there that is close range. All right, guys, so some point in time, the battery is going to go dead in your remote, okay? Whether it's under warranty or not. So it's probably going to happen at the most inconvenient time. So there's two things you can do. You um, you could keep, you know, a spare battery in your, in your glove compartment with a little tool to do it like that. Or just be smart enough to know how to use the vehicle. Now, if you want to keep that battery in your glove box and a little pocket screwdriver, uh, do that. You know, be prepared. 
So I'll leave a link down below uh, to Amazon for the batteries in case you don't know which ones to get. All right, guys, something I got exciting coming up. I'm wanting to do a collaboration of uh, subscriber Jeeps, okay? So if you have a picture of your Jeep and your subscriber, go to my Facebook uh, uh, down below, and I want you to post a picture of you and your Jeep or just your Jeep. Um, when I hit right at, I think it's around 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be uh, posting a video with, with all of you guys' Jeeps and uh, cool pictures that you guys for a thank you for 5,000 subscribers. So we're not too far away. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks to all my patrons. Have a great day. And again, be smart about your Jeep.